the secure line. I want to this. Yes, hello? Yes, this is S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes, you come to make a report. Okay? You have to make a report. Okay, I'm listening. May? No, it's November. Agent Johnson and Special Agent Johnson have been suspended indefinitely. Sorry. Yes, but... No, Agent Nakatomi has been transferred to the plaza. But I can take your report. Special Woodworker Bender. I have clearance. It's an intelligence report. Yes, that's fine. Yes? Steve Ramsey. Apple Wilkinson. Izzy Swan. Mark Spagnolo. Yes. John Hiles. Steve Carmichael. And they're all Hydra? You mean they're Hydra? But if they're Hydra, then the whole woodworking community could be... Are you certain? Well... Well, if that's the case, then... What? The misunderstanding. They're not Hydra. They're well hydrated. I mean, they drank enough during their woodworking. Oh. Well, that's a different matter entirely, and that's of course good to hear. I see to it that the report gets passed along. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. You too. But, uh, wait. You're certain you're with S.H.I.E.L.D.? Oh, y yes, the Safety, Health, Invention, Enforcement and Lamination Division. Yes, that settles it. Good, thank you. Goodbye. That was close. Hi, I'm Dominic. Thanks for watching Dominic's Woodworks. And if you have no idea what I just did, then either watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or ignore it. I start this project by taking my template and cutting it up into pieces and then using spray adhesive I glue it onto a few scraps of plain boards. These are store board ones since I don't have a jointer but any kind of board will work for me. If like me you're using any surface available to you, like here my table saw, make sure to put something underneath, not to soil it with glue or anything. Also try not to blow them off your work surface with the spray. When gluing the templates to the wood, I made sure that the grain flow was like I wanted it to be. For example, for the shield eagle I wanted the grain to flow along the wings. In effect that means I need a little more scrap because I can't arrange the pieces in the best space saving manner. But since I'm already using scrap pieces, the end result will be less scrap either way. For the Hydra logo I practically did the same thing, but since the arms are bent anyway, it's not that crucial, so it's basically just rinse and repeat. I printed out the measurements for the ring to go around the shield logo, and yes, it's supposed to be diameter, not radius, so I'm fixing that here. Next I set my compass to the outside diameter and draw a circle using the sides and the compass itself to find the proper center, so doesn't leave the board at any place. I use the compass, the same setting to draw half or part circles all over the board. Make sure to use most of it for the actual ring. I started cutting out the pieces of the band saw, first separating them roughly and using one side to cut along. Then I did the final cut and shape them. The shield logo was pretty easy in that respect, with all the straight lines and very little curves. Hydra, not so much. I started by cutting out the pieces roughly and then shaping what I could, thinking that I would do the inside scroll saw, but I'm not a really good scroll saw, or I don't have a really good scroll saw. Take a pick. So when I tried, I broke a few blades and decided to go back to the band saw and do the inside there too, and it worked out better than I had expected. I did record what I did on the scroll saw, but uh, it really wasn't pretty. Since my bandsaw blade breaking was the most exciting thing about cutting out the base and the rings, I have left it in for your viewing pleasure. A 
after all the pieces are cut, now is the time to color them. Sorry for jumping back and forth a little, but doing all the steps in the right narrative sequence wouldn't have been time effective. I want the Hydra logo to be dark, so I'm going the black tea and rust solution route, although this time it didn't work as expected. It did color the wood and I liked the end result, but it took a lot longer and I think soaking the pieces, submerging them in both black tea and the rust solution is not the ideal way to go. So next time it will be back to the brush. The shield logo I wanted to be as white as possible, so I experimented with some wood bleach, put it into hot water, stirred it, put the wood in, let it soak a little and took it out. Yes, the wood I was using is pretty light already, so it shouldn't be a surprise that it came out darker than I put it in. Still, I like the effect. I did use the black tea and the rust coloring on the ring pieces, applied with a brush, until I realized that I didn't want the ring colored since it would go with the shield logo. So here I am, taking off as much of the color as possible. And it worked out alright under the circumstances, especially since I also stained one of the sides of the base and the stain kinda seeped through the wood so I had to sand it away there too, which made for a rather uniform look. I use a standard wood glue to put the ring on and I add some weight to keep it in place. A few seconds later the weights come off again because I decided to glue the shield logo in right away. Since there won't be much stress on these pieces, I use as little glue as possible to avoid squeeze out. I place the eagle first, then put the other pieces lo in loosely and glue them in place where things are fit. Of course, after all the pieces are glued in place, I need to realign them slightly to make sure that the logo is actually centered. Then the weights come back on. Since the Hydra logo is slightly more complicated than shield, I kept the template handy not only to see which arm goes where, but also to make sure that the distances are right so I don't have any problems later to squeeze the last arm. And once again the weights come. After the glue has dried, I sand the sides flush and that's it. I decided not to put any finish on it, no spray lacquer, which would have worked on this piece pretty well, because I wanted it to look as rustic as possible. And maybe because I'm a little cheap too. Just in case, if you have no idea what I did at the beginning, well, you either need to check out Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or just don't worry, it might not be your cup of tea. I hope you liked it. Check out my blog for additional information. I'm not putting up templates right now. I will put something on the blog about how I made mine. I made templates in Inkscape to be able to scale and resize them. Of course, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo, the Hydra logo and anything else I might have used are copyright by Marvel or whoever holds that copyright, I don't claim anything in that regard. And maybe you noticed another reference I put into the bit at the beginning. I haven't done these spoken pieces at the beginning and the end of my videos for a few videos now and I'd like to hear from you whether you find those videos more interesting or less with me diving right into the work rather than giving you a speech beforehand or afterwards. So let me know in the comments which style suits you best and we'll see where I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to my channel for more unexpected projects, follow me on the social media and remember to be inspired.